What's up, y'all? So, this is just like some, a sign that I got that like really stuck with me while I was in Vegas. Um, that Vegas was the move for me. Now, I ain't gonna front. I took some L's in Vegas, you know. Um, not gambling or anything, but just uh, with the plane ticket going to Vegas. Um, uh, I lost my headphones. I had to buy a new pair of headphones. Um, just, just little minor shit, you know, well, the plane ticket cost me a lot, but anyways, this was a sign that I really think, um, it just stuck with me. It just like, you ever have that, that thing that happens to you and you're just like, whoa, that's, that's trippy. So on my way to the airport, leaving Vegas, you know, I talked with a lot of people there, you know, met a lot of people, um, guys and girls, um, just, you know, I was Mr. Conversation, you know, why I was out there, because it was a new, new place, and every time I got in an Uber or a Lyft, I'd ask people questions about Vegas and shit, you know what I'm saying, because they're locals, and this guy, he was bringing me back to the airport, and he was telling me how he moved to Vegas, uh, 15 years ago, from actually California, you know, and how he just, you know, he, he fell in love with the place, you know, he, he loved the place, and he was telling me, like, how locals don't even really go to the strip anymore, you know, after you go for a certain amount of time, it's just like my, my city, the mall, America, it's just like, eh, who cares, so anyways, I told him I'm thinking about moving to Vegas, and he was just like, yeah, it's a great place to move, you know, cost of living is not too expensive, it's going up a little bit, but it's not too expensive, it's affordable, there's jo good jobs out here, and, um, you're going to think this is stupid, but when I got out, of, I was getting out of his car, he helped me with my bag. He looked at me. He said, hey, I'll see you back here real soon, huh? I said, yeah, yeah. And it just, I go off of energy. I felt his energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like somebody put him in my presence to be my, my well, my Lyft driver. I don't use Uber. Um, uh, somebody put him in my presence to tell me like all about Vegas and to get me inspired to come back. And he was just like, when he said that, I was just like, yeah, man. Yeah, I'll be back. And I was just like super excited. And you got to look out for these signs that the universe will set send you. You know what I'm saying? Lately, I've been taking hella L's, hella L's in my hometown, hella L's. The universe is telling me, man, hey, get on your shit, man. Get, get out of this boring ass state. This state isn't for you. Do something with your life. And I've been saying Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. Vegas looks like the move, you know? Maybe you're, you're trying to move somewhere and you keep catching L's. Maybe you got to change something up in your life, you know? Um... In order for these L's to stop coming. I ain't gonna front. L's are just part of life. You know. L's happen. L's. Um, just, they just happen. You know. Everybody takes L's. You know. Um, but like. You gotta look out for these signs. You know what I'm saying. People. A lot of people. Will. Ignore the signs. And just. Keep taking L after L after L. And not pay attention. Like oh. Okay. Why is this happening to me. Why, why am I keep falling over and again? What do I have to self-evaluate with my life? What do I have to change? You know? Um, I'm really doing a lot of thinking and self-evaluating. And trying to battle my demons at the same time. Y'all know I got that dirty addiction. Y'all know. Y'all know. That dirty addiction that. <laughs> that, you know? That I'm trying to kick, you know? Um, I got some mental health that I'm trying to kick, you know? And um, I feel like until I stop, stop, uh, you know, doing stuff to self-sabotage, the, when I stop doing those things, you know, and get a hold of that, um, life will, life will start to open up for me, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's for y'all, too, you know? I know a lot of y'all, like, go through it and stuff. Like, I feel y'all. Like, that's why I share these videos, you know? Like, because people on social media, they be just, like, 
flexing, like, oh, my life's so good, you know, you see these vloggers and chat, I used to watch uh, Fousey Tube, man, and it's like, well, the reason I like Fousey Tube, his pranks are fake, but, like, he be crying and shit, he keep it real, you know, but, like, um, yeah, that used to be the only vlog, I don't know, I get off topic, y'all, but, like, just look out for these signs in life, you know what I'm saying, don't let these signs pass you up, and then, you know, you're not doing what you're meant to do. Because time passed by so freaking fast, you know. And that really, like, played... When he said, I, hey, I'll see you back, you know. That really just played in my head. Like, over and I hope I run into him again in Vegas, you know. Because he just, like, amped me up even more. Now I just... While I'm back here, I just fantasize about being in Vegas. Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. I can't get it out of my head, like, I gotta get the hell out of here, you know what I'm saying, they just did my apartment inspection today, you know, two more months on the dot, and I'm out of here, two more months, you know, April, I mean, May 30th, I extended my lease one more month, just so I could, uh, save up more money, you know, because I, I blew a lot of money in Vegas, you know, I blew a lot, I wasn't gambling, but, like, the plane ticket cost me a lot, the, the, uh, hotel cost me a lot, Food, spend money on drinks, lift, you know. Um, yeah, it cost me a lot. Um, I, I I dug into my savings for that, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but, like, look. You get what I'm saying. All right, y'all. I appreciate the love. Also, one more thing. Um, uh, your emails. I see your emails. I'm going to do an email. I'm going to start reading your emails off. I'm not going to put your full name out. You know what I'm saying? Just the first name. I'm just going to like, I'm going to read your email. You know what I'm saying? And do a reaction to your emails. I appreciate the emails. I will get to them. Every email I see and I star them. I just don't want to write it back, you know, because I want to do a video response, you know, because I appreciate the love, y'all. AnthonyBender61 at gmail.com. That's my email. I'll leave it in the description. If you want to email me. I'm not going to get back to you right away. I got emails from months ago that I got to get to, you know. I'm sorry about that, man. I just, you know, I deal with life like everybody else is going through life, you know. And sometimes I ain't even going front. I just be bullshitting, watching fucking mindless YouTube, you know. But, like, what can you do? Uh, I'm not perfect. All right, y'all. Peace.